11,000, $10,000, $11,000, almost $12,000 for one month. Had you seen these invoices before? I have not. Are you just gonna ignore us? You gonna make time to talk with us? Well, a small rural South Carolina city bogged down in financial uncertainty, agreed to be able to pay a financial consultant $150 an hour. Some city council members believe they were misled about how and where the man running the city found that consultant. And chief investigative reporter Jody Barr digs for the truth and handpicked a Queen City News investigation. Right, call to order. City Council regular meeting <coughs> May 21st. Okay, Mayor, uh, Council Members, next section, uh, contract from Mrs. Uh, Laura Johnson Consulting uh, for Financial Services. Our interest in this contract started in the middle of this Bennettsville City Council meeting in May when I heard City Administrator William Simon tell Council this. Uh, Mrs. Johnson has been assisting us as a consultant uh, to get through our budget process this year. Um, the company has also uh, assisted us with some organization of our financial files. And as most of you know, and if you don't know, um, our director of finance um, recently resigned. And so what we're doing is we're asking uh, Mrs. Johnson um, to consider uh, staying on with us and serving in slightly a different capacity, still in the consultant's capacity, but will do, will serve as interim CFO um, until we hire someone. The obvious question, how much was the city paying Laura Johnson and her firm, JCS Consulting? Simon never mentioned the cost that night and neither did a single council member. Uh, Mrs. Johnson's contract in your packets. She is not here for questions tonight, but I'll just turn it over to all of you and then I will convey any information that you want me uh, that you have for her to, uh, through me directly, I'll convey that to her. And this was as close as anyone got to making the cost of this contract public. I just want to be sure that we uh, all agree on this rate that she has in here. What is it? Oops. Well, just to answer your question, the city does not have a common rate. Uh, there's, there's a market rate, obviously. Market. I don't know exactly what that uh, market rate is, but this is this is her rate that she's, prepared, yeah. she's picked, uh, presenting, proposing. With that, council approved Johnson's contract. It was actually Johnson's second contract with the city, and this one came with a nice 50% pay raise. Yeah. Councilwoman Wanda Weaver does remember the administrator telling council about his plans to hire Laura Johnson and how he found her. We were told that she had been recommended by the um, Municipal Association, and I called the uh, Municipal Association and was told that she was not recommended. The Municipal Association of South Carolina is an 80-year-old organization made up of the state's 271 cities and towns. It provides guidance to municipal governments. I too called the association and their spokesman told me it not only did not recommend or vet Laura Johnson, but no one in the organization had ever heard of her and the association has never referred any financial consultants to Bennettsville. When you all voted to approve this contract with Laura Johnson. When you cast that vote at that time, did you do so believing that she, in fact, had come recommended by the Municipal Association? Yes, sir, absolutely. It was opposed? Councilwoman Weaver and Councilman Allen Taylor voted against Johnson's second contract in May and the 50% pay raise that came with it. Following this May council meeting, we started digging into JCS Consulting's history and Laura Johnson's credentials. The internet turned up nothing on the consulting firm, but it was packed with information about Laura Johnson and her final days as the administrative head of a county government 100 miles away from Bennettsville. Coming up. Do you believe you were lied to? I believe I was misled. You're not gonna print the truth. That's a ridiculous statement to make. You're not gonna print the truth. Are you saying that so you don't have to talk about it? When hand-picked continues after the break. Here, we'll walk around go in front of the car and just, just keep, keep the camera up and ready. For two weeks, we asked Bennettsville City Administrator William Simon to interview with us for this investigation. He wouldn't, so we found him in the City Hall parking lot last week. Good morning, Mr. Simon. Hey, I want to talk to you this morning about Laura Johnson. How did you find her and give her this job? Okay, I'm back. Are you just going to ignore us? You going to make time to talk with us? 
In February, Simon hired Laura Johnson and her JCS consulting firm. We dug into Johnson's background and found a trove of reporting on her out of Fairfield County, a county 100 miles away between Charlotte and Columbia. I'd like to make a motion to authorize the chairman of the Fairfield County Council to enter into a contractual negotiation with Ms. Laura Johnson. From January 2023 through January 2024, Johnson was the interim county administrator there. For nearly 20 years before that, Johnson served in various financial positions. She's also a licensed CPA. She came out of retirement last year to run the county as the interim administrator. Thus far, we have paid the IRS in penalties and interest $1,184,417.11. Repeat that, please. $1,184,417.11. So I'm going to go through all of this so we can all have an understanding. That's $1.2 million. Yes, ma'am. And Thank I'm you. Going, we'll add some more to it in a minute. Johnson ran into trouble late last year when she informed counsel she discovered IRS letters assessing fines and penalties against the county for unfiled or incomplete tax forms within the past decade. Johnson was the county comptroller for some of that time. Meeting records show Johnson paid the fines without informing counsel. This million and a half dollars, that's our taxpayer's money. Yes. That's absolutely inexcusable. They want transparency. We need to know why this happened. I agree. Yes, and just to add that these um, was unbudgeted, so that's these are going to have to come from fund balance. The following month, the Fairfield County Council cut her loose. Then three weeks later, Johnson was sitting in Bennettsville City Administrator William Simon's City Hall office, working out her consulting deal. $7,760.43. $11,800. Yes, and some odd dollars. And $10,670 something odd dollars. What do you think when you see that amount? $11,000 is a lot of money for a month. Laura Johnson's consulting company billed the city more than $37,000 from February to May. I have personally not seen these at all. In June, council directed the city administrator to terminate the contract, but the city has not given us that termination letter. And Laura Johnson won't speak with us about any of this. The city has not told us what it paid her in June and July. Brought forward everything that I had found out and requested then that we terminate her contract. Johnson's last day with the city was July 29th. Hang on, there you go, Mr. Simon. We tried for weeks to get City Administrator William Simon to tell us how he found the consultant and who recommended her to him. Hey, could you just stop for a second and talk to us about this? I mean, you're the leader of this city and you can't just stop and talk about a matter this important. But three days after this interview attempt, the city called an unscheduled council meeting. We found Simon there to question him again. Why won't you talk to me about this? I'll tell you, Jody, I would love to talk to you about Ms. Johnson. Okay. I just don't think you're gonna print the truth. And I'm after the truth, and I really don't think you're gonna print the truth. Really? Yeah, and I have all the answers you need, and I think council is ready to talk to you as well. We I have. Just, I just don't think you're gonna print the truth. So if you talk to council, then you have your answer. I'm, I'm talking to you, you found her. How did you find her? You're not gonna print the truth. Th that's a ridiculous statement. No, it's not to make. ridiculous. You've already made a claim to me on how you think she's been found. I'm asking you questions. I can't talk to you right now, Mr. Barr. Well, what's holding you up? The meeting's in 20 minutes. I can't talk to you right now. Who, who not, recommended her to you? You're not going to print the truth. That's a ridiculous statement to make. You're not going to print the truth. Is it, are you saying that so you don't have to talk about it? You're not going to print the truth. You can chase me and make videos. But you're not going to print the truth. I would love to talk well, to you. Well, how do you know that? I would love to talk to you and be transparent, but you're not. You've proven that already. Sorry, sir. No more shows. This is the private part. We're going to try this again, so it'd be nice if you came with your answers for us. I emailed every member of council asking them to tell us who Simon said recommended Laura Johnson. I think we have like four minutes. Since we have everybody here. I emailed you guys, haven't heard back from any of you. you. Do you plan on answering the question I have about this, Ms. Laura Johnson, this consultant? 
any of you. Councilman Tyron Abraham and Bill Jennings refused the interview, saying the consultant discussion happened in executive session. Guys, you aren't, you aren't answering me. The public's going to see this. Nothing you want to talk about. A city source confirmed Simon claimed he got Laura Johnson's contact information from a leadership program sponsored by the International City County Management Association, not the Municipal Association. So I called the ICMA, who confirmed Simon is a member, but the ICMA does not recommend vendors to provide services to municipalities. Also, the association confirmed Simon didn't join the group until June 12th, three weeks after I started asking questions. Mayor, if you don't mind, I'd like to answer a portion of that question. Actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's best. Neither the Municipal Association nor the International City County Management Association recommended Mrs. Laura Johnson. And that's Let not... Finish. Let me finish. Okay. Let me finish. Okay. Now, I don't know where you got your information from, but I know what I delivered to council. What I told council was that as being part of those organizations, particularly one of them, I was exposed to other professionals who provided me her contact information. So if you're asking specifically, how did I find Ms. Johnson? That's exactly what I'm asking. I just told you. How? And who I told you about her? No, 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 I'm not going to tell you that. Why I'm not? Gonna I'm, because that doesn't matter. You spent Absolute, that, nearly $50,000 on this contract, but you can't say where you found her. Was she a friend of yours? Absolutely. And, and let me tell you, she did a great job. And Nobody's all, questioned that. All, okay, hold on. All of council can attest to that. She did a wonderful job. Where did you find Who recommended her to you? Like I told you, I was in a room with professionals. They shared her contact information, and then I brought that contact information back. I looked into her business, and then I brought it here to, uh, before council. That's it. Did, were you aware of what hold happened on, in Fairfield on, County? On. With that's that? it. No, I was not. When did you become aware? I'm not going to answer that. Why, that why doesn't matter. Not it does not matter because she came here and she did a great job for us. We executed her contract. All of council executed her contract. She did a great job. Her contract has now ended. And you, sir, are trying to find a story. There is no story. That's you my just, job, Mr. Sonny. You just mentioned it that you asked me if I was friends of hers. Can I answer that? Please do. No. So if you reached out to the Municipal Association or if you reached out yes. to the International City County Management Association, that was a decision you made based off false information or misinterpretation of what you got, the information that you received. No one, no one, no one recommended, no, neither one of those agencies recommended Ms. Johnson. I found her as the administrator and brought her forward and I was operating within my authority because we did everything right as a council, sir. Did we council, did everything right. We're, and we're your, claim, well, your claim regarding her being chosen by the Municipal Association is absolutely false. When did council vote on her first contract? Mayor, that's we're not go live. Live. We've answered that question. We put that to rest. I hope you answer my emails about we, this. We put time. that to rest. We will. Thank you. Thanks. Here we are. Call to order. For the last two council meetings, former Bennettsville Mayor Carolyn Prince, who led the hiring of City Administrator William Simon, showed up asking council to find an outside auditor to perform a forensic audit. Despite a request, the city has not announced whether it plans to hire a forensic auditor to settle questions surrounding the city's COVID accounting and city spending.